this is Erica from Nitty Gritty Science and tonight I want to do a video tutorial from my plants chapter of my Life Science Interactive Notebook. And tonight's activity is going to be a 3D flower that students can make. This structure actually folds out and once they have it they can go ahead and put the structures of the flower in which can also be found as a template which is also found inside this resource. They can label it, they can add the pieces, and if they want, they can even change the shape of the petal if they um, want to do that. In the end, this folds up, and again, this activity can be found in this plant chapter, or it can be found also in the Complete Life Science Interactive Notebook, which can be found in my store, Nitty Gritty Science, on Teachers Pay Teachers. Now, to begin with this, what we're going to do is take a sheet of paper, and you're going to take the two halves, and each half is going to be folded in half again until this petal template fits it which is found in the templates. When we have that cut this is what you end up with right here. I'm going to use two different colors just so that way when we put the model together you can see the two halves. On the first half what you want to do is you want to draw a line from the middle going down on every other petal as I've done here. On the second half, you want to also draw lines starting from the middle, but this time draw your lines going up every other petal. Then you're going to go ahead and each line you're going to cut notches in, which I've already done. Once those notches are done, you're going to now take the two halves and slide the notches past each other, so that way you start putting the flower model together. Now as you can see, to start the beginning, it gets tricky, so if you have little hands doing this, you might want to have the kids work together to do that, so that way one kid can hold there and let one student work down his model, and then have him help his partner. In the end, though, when they put the two models together, you're going to have the two halves overlapped just like that, where they're at the notches, okay? Now to just go ahead and make the 3D part when it folds open, we need to fold this flower accordion style. So you'll start seeing when it stands up, you want to start at the beginning, open it up, and open each section just like this and fold it in. Do it with the next section, the third section, and of course the final piece. So you're going to end up having this for your flower model. Now I've already gone ahead, the card piece that's going to go inside your notebook is just a half sheet of paper. And the instructions go ahead and tell you to cut out the rest of the flower and you're going to paste them in. Just for time purposes, I've only put in the pistol. And what you want to do is you're going to have the students go ahead and find the center of their model. And you're going to slide it over the center pieces and of course they'll have the stamen and everything added in. But for this, we're going to slide it right over. Once it's in place and you're at the fold, you want to lay that down and get the glue stick. Take the glue stick and glue the one half of the flower. And you're going to fold that paper in half. Now, take your card over and do the same thing on the other side, having the flower petals right on the crease of that card. Again, fold the card. Press firmly so it all stays. So now what you want to do is take glue. You're going to glue just one side of the card down in the notebook so that way now when the students open it, they have their beautiful flower structure. And again, they'll have all the pieces that are found in the chapter. They can put this in. They can add labels. Where's the petals? There's the sepals that they can add in and um, all the different parts of the or all the different structures of the flower, they can go ahead and add that on for themselves. Okay, so there you have it. That's your 3D paper model. I hope this helps. 